This has just arrived. It's the XYZ Carve by 3D Tech. A uh, company started in Australia, but the UK suppliers are based down in Peterborough. I ordered this on Friday and it's arrived today, Monday. So it's taking the weekend to get here. The purpose of this video really is to kind of hopefully run you through whether this is a machine you should be looking at. I'm completely new to manufacturing and machining, that kind of thing. My background is uh, in live events and video production, so this is something completely new to me. So hopefully uh, for those who are out there who've never built a machine like this, I can give you an insight into how tricky or straightforward these machines are to put together. And I'm also gonna to touch on some of the other machines that I looked at while I was in the sort of research phase before I just made the decision to buy this machine. Anyway, I'm very excited to get this thing opened up, so let's jump straight in. The XYZ Carve is a one by one meter machine with a working area or cutting envelope of around 800 by 800 millimeters to a depth of 75 millimeters. It's 3D Tech's entry level machine capable of cutting wood, plastics, foam, and soft metals such as aluminium or brass. Both the X and Y axis are belt driven, with vertical axis being screw driven. So from my fairly limited but in-depth research, belt-driven machines are generally faster and cheaper, whereas screw-driven tend to be slower but more accurate over long-term use, especially when cutting tougher materials. So the design of this machine is largely based on the open-source X-Carve CNC, as sold by Inventables over in the United States. But the 3D Tech comes at a much more wallet-friendly price point. While researching various machines, I had a look at the X-Carve by Inventables and loved their marketing and website and project resources available for free. But it was a little too far out of my budget to justify. And I was also a little bit concerned about import tax, uh, having been stung for £110 on a £600 lens from the United States a few years ago. I also looked at the WorkBee CNC, supplied by a British-based company called Oozenest. So their machines appear to be geared slightly more towards heavyweight use, with them being screw-driven. But again, the pricing was just a little bit outside of my budget for a 1x1m one one machine. After reading a ton of reviews about the XYZ Carve by 3D Tech, it seemed like a quality machine to start out in CNC, with a generously sized cutting envelope and affordably priced. So onto the instructions. The build guide for the XYZ is an absolute revelation with a bill of materials and explodable 3D models for each of the components, which comes in handy when trying to understand which way round a specific bearing or fastener should be orientated. There are some additional fasteners supplied which aren't listed on the bill of materials, and some of these aren't used, but one or two of them came in handy. So keep them to one side. There's also clear gotchas in the written instructions which warn about potential stumbling blocks as you put everything together, which is really helpful. Crikey, right, okay, so it's um, five past midnight, and look how much we've accomplished. These two assemblies are done. Anywho, uh, I'm not in a massive rush to get this uh, the build done, so that's it for tonight, 10 past midnight. Um, let's see what tomorrow brings. More to follow tomorrow. Mm -hmm. 